number 22413 from Madgaon to Hasrat Nizamuddin Rajdhani Express has arrived on platform number 1. India is synonymous with people. It has a population of 1.3 billion and their lifeline is the railways. The Konkan Railway lies on the western coastline of India. The people along this coast are traditionally salt makers, but now have settled into fishery and agriculture. The line runs a distance of 741 kilometers, almost the length of Britain, covering three states, Maharashtra, Goa and Karnataka. It is undoubtedly one of the most difficult infrastructure projects India has ever undertaken. Unfortunately, it is also constructed in a region which receives some of the highest amount of rainfall ever recorded. The Konkan Railway battles nature every year. This particular railway organization is considered to be quite young. It is hardly 18 years old. In the midst of amazing vistas, the line was constructed in a record time of eight years. It takes you on a spectacular journey through rugged mountains, lush valleys, sunny paddy fields, and glistening rivers that lead out into the Arabian Sea. It is that railway which connects Bombay to Mangalore, right on the west coast of India. This line is connecting the midpoint till the south of India, on the coast. When it was not there, the travel time people used to take was maybe a, more than three days or four days. Today, in one and a half days, people from the southernmost tip of Kerala can travel to Mumbai. And in fact, not only for people, the movement of goods, that has improved as well. When the freight movement happens out over here in Konkan, it, it is beneficial, it saves time. Time is equal to money, simple. The railway line proved to be useful for the Konkan people. It increased economy and brought in development. But it was constructed right on the heart of the southwest monsoon belt. The monsoon lasts for three months, from June till September every year. It is known to be notorious and dangerous. This hilly terrain coastal region experiences rainfall up to 4,500 millimeters. That's close to 15 feet of water. Tropical thunderstorms are such a cause for concern that they literally bring operations to a standstill. Incessant rains orchestrate calamities in the form of landslides, soil slips, and flash floods. The Konkan Railways are the pawns in this battle. When I first came here about 20 years back, this monsoon was really fearful. Means it used rain for days continuously and three months continuous monsoon was a totally difficult, different thing for me. Actually, when this line was made, it was supposed to be a high-speed line. But obviously, there was one big incident uh, with the Matsyaganda Express, whereby uh, uh, because of the landslide, the rock fell on the track, the train came and dashed against it and derailed it right down the uh, a bridge, uh, somewhere north from here. So that was a big incident. A lot of people lost their lives. So, so safe, they had to take this into consideration. They cannot run a line which can, which can be closed four months in a year. They have to, they have to operate it uh, uh, all through the year. So what do they do? they will have to work towards the safety of this uh, particular line. A year after this incident, another passenger train faced similar consequences. 
freight traffic took a hit as well. Konkan Railways was facing a major conundrum. Do they shut the line for three months and suffer huge losses or build a safer environment for operations? Initial days, because of the new cuttings, new these things, whenever a monsoon comes, this loose landslides, everything were there. And we had faced a lot of such situations when the train used to get stranded for one or two days, traffic used to be held up and people were suffering a little bit. I would rather say it is a catch-22 situation. We require the railways, but we also require the monsoons. Primarily, this area is agricultural. Without monsoons, you don't have a produce. Without produce, you don't have an economy. Yes, we require the monsoons. It is just nature that uh, the south monsoons, monsoons are very strong and very heavy out over there. But the railway line is also required. Understanding its own significance, the organization was prepared to tackle the situation. Carrying a tag as an engineering marvel on their shoulders, the Konkan Railways developed a strategy. It was coined as the Geological Safety Works, or just simply Geosafety. This was started in 2004. Each and every employee of the Konkan Railways is aware of the problem the rains bring with them and the need to respect it. There are many devices installed in the entire line as part of the geosafety operations. Emergency socket telephones are provided after every two kilometers. The gangman, the unsung hero of the organization, walks the length and breadth of the tracks every day and uses the telephone line to alert the nearest station master if there are any problems. The Konkan Railway's maintenance crew is preparing its operations and machines to clear off tunnels of any obstacles and also to clean the drainage. On that day, the crew needed to pick up all the tracks that have been worn out inside the tunnel. This entire railway section is a single line track. This means that the work they need to conduct has to be done in a window of half an hour between two trains in each direction they needed to work really fast. There are 91 tunnels in the system and this comes to an enormous total length of 85 kilometers. It is critical for the crew to be vigilant in what they do so they don't interrupt the traffic. They also need to finish the work in the given time to them. It's a mammoth task considering they had only half an hour to collect 25 track pieces, each of them weighing 60 kilos. On the largest bridges on the Konkan Railways, devices such as anemometers are installed. This smart piece of technology trips the signals to red if the wind speed crosses 45 knots, therefore reducing any disasters on top of a bridge. These are important elements in the geosafety works. The monsoon is just around the corner and all the work needs to be complete before the first rains. If they fail to complete the tasks, there will be consequences. The Konkan Railways start their geosafety operations at the end of the previous year's monsoon to prepare for the current years. It is a year-long process to keep the travelers safe and comfortable through their journey. Boulder Falls have been a nightmare for the Konkan Railways. To prevent them, high-strengthened steel wires have been installed in all vulnerable locations with constant monitoring through the monsoon a major chunk of risks have been reduced just because of this. It's not only the technology used on the line that saves lives, it's the human elements that goes in that keeps the risks at bay. The Konkan Railway conducts monsoon seminars for all their employees and gives them extra tools to help them navigate the three-month period. जो कि बारिश में बहुत कंडीशंस बैड रही थी इसके लिए उनको दोनों टाइम पे प्रोवाइड करना पड़ता है वहाँ पे वहाँ पे उन लोगों ने बायफर्विट किया है वॉर्नेबल लोकेशंस टनल लोकेशंस हाईर कटिंग्स एंड ब्रिजेस आल्सो तो उस तरह से वो लोग उनके जो स्टाफ है उन लोगों लोकेटेड करते हैं हमें कि रेल चला रहे हैं पैसेंजर के लिए चला रहे हैं अगर उनको हम सही तरह से फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइड करते हैं उनकी तरफ सही तरह से ध्यान देते हैं तो वाकई हमें तकलीफ कम होगी सम और अदर मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द पैसेंजर्स डोंट हैव एन आइडिया व्हाट द व्हाट दिस 
the railway officials are doing about the safety of this line. Normally, any issues happen, passengers uh, try and beat down the railways, complain a lot. But I, I think it is a little bit unfair. I don't know whether uh, people are that aware of safety features in India per se. It is not uncommon for the Indian masses to criticize and complain. But yet, this unflappable organization pushes forward, working night and day to finish off all the safety measures. This railway line has a unique charm about it. They are known for their troubleshooting and problem-solving nature. The customer is the most important visitor of our premises, is their mission statement. And just because of that, the biggest challenge they faced is now under control. The geo-safety operations were a huge success, which helped in reducing risks and loss of lives. But for them, the work doesn't stop there. They need to start the preparations for the next year's monsoon immediately. It has now become a routine process perfected by an organization due to the respect that they give to nature's natural phenomena. This is that coastal railway line.